Confidence. It's the thing we all want more of, but it's also the thing that you can't just go out and buy it. You actually have to earn it. So what is confidence? Confidence is ultimately feeling okay with yourself in a given situation. Now, this is something that we should all feel within ourselves. I should feel confident to be myself, to make decisions that I want to make, and to be able to share who I am with people around me. That's something that we should all have. So when it comes to confidence, there are limitations. For instance, I wouldn't challenge Mike Tyson to three rounds in the ring. That would be hubris, and that is a, a form of confidence that is overconfidence. It's really delusional. Now, the problem is oftentimes, instead of cultivating that confidence, we lean into these coping mechanisms to deal with the fact that we don't really have that kind of confidence. The biggest one that I see, and I've seen it in myself, and I see it all over the world, is apathy. Apathy lets us off the hook. It's the thing that says, I don't wanna lose, so I'm not gonna try. It allows us not to have to look at the fact that we've got some work to do. Another way we do this is just avoidance altogether. So this is where we will hide in our homes, hide in our apartments, hide in our rooms, understanding fully that, hey, I wish I could go and I wish I could be myself. I wish I felt confident, but I just don't feel confident. So I am going to stay here in my cave and I'm going to avoid all possibility for me to be embarrassed, for me to feel bad about myself, for me to make a fool out of myself. Lastly, we see the people that are self-deprecating. And this, I did, I've done all of these, by the way, but this was my favorite one. I would be a person who people thought, wow, Jesse has a lot of confidence in himself, but I wasn't allowing myself to be the person that I really was. I wasn't allowing myself to show that I'm intelligent or that I'm capable or any of those things. I was just showing myself as some big jackass, some buffoon, but ultimately it did not lead me to the things that I wanted. It did not give me to the goals that I wanted to become, and ultimately it led me into an enormous amount of despair. And all of these things can lead us to despair. All of these things can lead us to depression because we feel like there's something wrong with us. There is nothing wrong with you. There is simply a disconnection within you. This is something that I've seen in myself and in all of my clients that we, when we're working on confidence, these are things that we learn to develop. The first one, and this is very important, is to push yourself outside of your comfort zone a little bit regularly. A lot of people will push themselves outside of their comfort zone in a major way and then they'll fail. <laughs> the reality is that small changes over time pay off. And if you push yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone each day, your comfort zone will expand. And eventually you'll be more comfortable in more situations. That means you'll be more comfortable being yourself. Number two, self-talk is important. Now, where does self-talk come from? This is a video I'm making early on in the release of my online course, The Language of Breath. And one of the things that I've found out over my research is where is it that this voice comes from? This inner voice that tells you you can't do things. Maybe you said the wrong thing uh, a couple days ago and it just gnaws at you. Well, this is self-talk and self-talk comes from a part of our brains or what we might call our unconscious self. There's a part of your subconscious that believes that if you make that mistake, it will get in the way of you thriving or surviving because it's trying to help you prevent yourself from some kind of calamity. It's okay, don't beat yourself up for having negative self-talk. We all have it. When those things come up, you want to become aware of that negative self-talk. Using however, whatever tools you possibly can, you're going to want to try to replace that negative self-talk with gratitude. And understand that you're being grateful that there's a part of your subconscious that's trying to protect you, and that's all it is. But then that's where we can start to replace that negative self-talk with positive self-talk. Oh yeah, well, I have been practicing, or this is part of my confidence practice. This is supposed to be difficult. There's supposed to be an option of failure because if there wasn't one, there wouldn't be an option for success. In the Language of Breath program, we learn how to connect with that part of ourselves in a very profound way. We're really comfortable with that part of ourselves. Lastly, and perhaps the most important tool that you can do is learn how to make a connection to the unconscious part of you in a meaningful way. That part of you that's trying to help you to survive, that part of you that's trying to tell you, don't do that thing, that's a part of you that is you. It really is you, your unconscious you, and it speaks to you through its own language. So learning that language is really essential to understanding how we can start to work with 
and not against ourselves. So if you're working with yourself and not against yourself, then you're working as a full self. You have wholeness, you have unity. So this is exactly what the Language of Breath program is all about. And we're in the early release process of the Language of Breath. So if you take a look at the links below, there is a, a link that goes to the Language of Breath online program if you'd like to get into this. What we need to do is learn to use our breathing. That is the mechanism with which we can speak to that unconscious self. And we also have to learn to use our conscious awareness to start to learn the language that the body is sending, right? That physiological urge to run or fight or, it's a language. There is a constant conversation that's happening within us at all times. Most of us are disconnected and we don't realize it. And this leads to a lack of confidence in just about everything. It leads to lack of confidence socially, physically, psychologically. I just don't feel whole. There's something wrong. Really what it is, is a disconnection between the unconscious aspects of your person and the conscious aspects. If you are truly who you are, authentically, the whole world benefits. Take a look at these videos and don't forget to go out there and be kind to one another.